In this video, we're going to talk about some simple keyboard shortcuts that you can use to help speed up your edit flow in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Matt Pruitt. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. And it's time for another short slash quickish <laughs> video tutorial. This time we're going to talk about uh, creating content for as far as a video standpoint. And we're going to use Adobe Premiere Pro. I, I like to use Adobe Premiere Pro because I'm a Windows guy. I'm not a Mac guy. And um, there's a lot of different tools and tips and tricks that are built into it. But it's so many things in there. Sometimes it could slow you down. But the best thing that I found inside of Premiere Pro are the keyboard shortcuts. Now, granted, you can do a lot of things just with your mouse and dragging and right clicking and things like that. But for me, using my keyboard shortcuts make things a whole lot faster and a whole lot more efficient and allows me to get these videos edited and produced in a more timely manner. So. What we're going to do is take a look at Premiere Pro right now and um, we'll just walk through a couple of these shortcuts. OK, so I have Premiere Pro open right now and I'm currently looking at a stock video project that I'm working on. Nothing too elaborate or anything. This is just how I would get started. And what I'm going to do now is take this video file over here, which looks like a, looks like it's a drone shot and I'm going to drag it to my timeline here. Now this thing is super duper long. This is about a minute's worth of footage here. Um, I don't need that much footage. I need roughly 10 to 20 seconds. Um, so that's what we're going to focus on in this project. And Premiere Pro has a way of letting you just trim down uh, to, to use whatever you want um, from your particular footage files. First thing you could do is just click on it and drag like this here to shorten it, just dragging it that way. Drag it like that, you know, and that will shorten the clip. So now it's roughly 16 seconds. So I almost cut off 10 seconds right there. Okay, what, what if I don't wanna do it that way? Um, you can just move your pan head, or not pan head, move your play head with your mouse to your particular uh, spot in the video. And if you can set up what they call endpoints and out points. Okay, endpoint means start here as far as your actual editing and export procedures. Out point means stop here as far as your editing and export procedures. So if I want to create a new endpoint from within the timeline, all I have to do is press I on the keyboard. So I'm going to move back here a little bit and then I'm just going to press I on the keyboard and it's going to create an endpoint. Notice how the timeline now has this little highlight uh, above the playhead and, and below the video footage there. OK, so now I want to scrub through with my mouse and just find some random spot and I'm going to hit O for out and I'm going to tell it to stop right there at that particular point. Probably something else I should do is go ahead and make sure the resolution is set fairly low because this is a 4K file and I don't want my computer to choke during this recording. All right, so I have my endpoint and out point set up. Now let's navigate through it. You can just press the play button here on your screen or you can just use a keyboard shortcut and press spacebar, which will play it. OK, so that's a simple shortcut, nothing to it. Now, the play function works regardless of where your in and out points are. Again, the in and out points only matter when it comes to far as your export. OK, so I'm pressing play or space on the keyboard and it will just advance through. But that's taking too long to get to my in and out point. So I could easily just drag the mouse like that 
and that's fine and dandy. But again, I think a mouse is a little too slow for the workflow. Let's use the shortcuts that are built in to make this a little faster and it'll give you a little bit more control as far as I want to be able to get to a particular frame in the video, not just a particular section. So there are three keys on your keyboard that you're going to find rather useful. OK, and that's the J key, the K key and the L key. Fortunately, they are right next to each other. So if you're on your timeline and you want to advance the playhead forward, press your L key. OK, if you want to speed it up, press the L key again, press it again if you want to make it go faster. And then if you want to stop it, just press K. All right. The same functionality works with the J key. Instead of your playhead going forward in time, it will go backwards in time. And however many times you tap that J key will affect how fast it will go. So I'm going to press J again. Well, not again, just press it now and it's going to back up. Press it again to speed up a little more. And then I'm going to hit stop or K on the keyboard to stop the playhead. When you're going through mashing up different uh, video clips, you will find these shortcuts to be super duper useful for scrubbing through and finding what clip needs to match with this clip and so on and so forth. It's so much faster than just using your mouse. OK, so now that you have your endpoints and your outpoints squared away, um, you can just do a control M or file export to export your footage out. OK, but what if you have a problem here? What if you don't really want this particular in and out point to be uh, at this 10 second mark or what have you? Uh, you can just stretch it with your mouse like this or shrink it down. Or if you just need to clear it, you can right click and say clear in and out. But again, I like to use my keyboard. So that would say uh, control shift X and that clears it all out. OK, so that's it. These are pretty simple keyboard shortcuts that you can use inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I highly recommend using these to speed up your workflow. It, it like with anything, it takes a lot of practice to get used to it. So many of us are used to using a mouse in our day to day computing functions, and we think that's faster. Initially, it may be a little bit faster for you, but I promise you, once you get used to hitting that J, K and L key, as well as doing all of the other shortcuts that are built in inside of Premiere Pro, you, you, you will definitely see a difference in your productivity. Thank you folks for watching and hanging in there with me again on all of my videos that I create. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share it with other digital content creators out there. Uh, let them know that um, I try to do these videos at least once a week, as well as a live stream to look at photo editing, video editing, so on and so forth. Regarding the live streams, football season is coming up for us and I tend to do the live streams on Friday nights and with it being football season, that just might be a problem from a, a scheduling standpoint. I don't know. I'll see if I can figure something out. Um, I know people enjoy watching the live streams and the live edits, so I want to try to keep doing this thing. So stay tuned and we'll see if we can figure out something that will work for everyone. One more thing before I go. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway soon because my my YouTube channel is getting close to 1000 subscribers and I figure once I hit a thousand subscribers, I want to do a giveaway for everyone that is a subscriber and uh, just a way of saying thank you for the continued support. I really do appreciate it. You, you guys have no idea. All right, I'm going to quit babbling. Go ahead and fire up Premiere Pro and start working on your video projects just to see if this can help you get through your, your editing flow just a little bit faster. Trust me. The, the faster you go, the more gigs you can get done. All right, folks, y'all take care. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.